would I walk out here with a circular saw? Why would I ask you that question? Well, of course, the answer, and I'll answer it for all of us collectively, no, that's outrageous to give something like that to a 10-year-old. Seems outrageous. But here's where it might get a little bit interesting. With the right tools and the right coaching, mentorship, community, purpose, anybody can build something amazing. We're here at Arbonne today building on the frontier of the future. And the first lesson that I want to share with you about building is that fear or uncertainty of our current capabilities might prevent us from picking up something that maybe looks a little bit dangerous. Sometimes it might keep us from reaching our potential. So this photo is a house in Alaska that I built at age 12 years old with my family. So, thank my mother and father. Imagine this, we were literally camping out in a tent and a suburban in a dirt driveway with big dreams in the woods. We needed something that was more appropriately sized for a family of 12 children and two parents. Okay? Our ambition at the time was pushed by an intent need and was likely far beyond our capabilities, certainly my capabilities as a young man. And apparently the child labor laws and OSHA and those kinds of things don't apply to parents in Alaska. My father had the best dad jokes around, and he would always say, one boy is a half of a man, if you can get him working. Two boys together are no man at all, because all they do is goof around. But he surmised that because of the number of children that he had, maybe if he could get enough boys and girls working together, that we could get something productive done. So we worked quickly all summer, and after a lot of late nights, uh, winter was coming even faster. And we had no interior walls, no insulation, but we had a roof finally to sleep under, and we moved out of the driveway into our shell of a house, our new house. We were so excited. Bare wood floors, studs, framing, not really much, but it felt like a big improvement from the tent in the driveway. Our neighbors came and helped us install a wood-burning stove one Sunday afternoon when we were in need. The snow was flying and it was getting fairly chilly with no heat source inside the house. We worked very hard and we had a known purpose for building. I had a purpose. It was a need for my family to have a warm place to live. We discovered something really remarkable that summer. When you love the people that you're building for, and you get just a little bit of a glimpse of the future, the hours of work and labor and the intensity of it can become addicting. It can even become really quite enjoyable. We poured over the blueprints each night with my father to guide us and line out a project for us the next day. And that blueprint continued to give us a vision of what that house might look like when it was complete. My mother, being of course a typical mother, and loving mother of her children, often would privately ask my father, and I heard this on occasion, that please let these boys and girls go play. Let them have a night off. Let them have a weekend off. Let them join the baseball team. And we learned a really important rule about building anything that will, will, will last over time. When what you are building matters more to the people you're building it for than it means for you. When you consider what it will do for them instead of what it might do for you, and those in your life that matter most will benefit, it becomes a purpose. Think back right now to those that may rely on you today maybe even those that you have not met yet, 
that may rely upon the tools that you can give them through Arbonne. All those people that could lead a better life when you empower them with a business opportunity and our amazing products. Our Arbonne products will increase their wellness. They will increase their glow. We're excited about what we can bring to their lives. And as we went through that summer and, and finally got our house completed through the next winter, I often wondered as a, as a young man and even later, why would my father not just purchase a bigger house? Seems logical, right? All that work, a bunch of kids on a job site in the woods in Alaska, kind of a rough way to get a home. And we'd had a home before that. I'm sure that the quality of our work was not professional grade. Our walls were crooked a lot. We had a lot of redos. And at first, we were pretty bad at what we were doing, but we got better as we went along. I'm sure our finished work was amateur, and I know for a fact that our plumbing leaked. My mother often wondered why my father was so intent on giving these children really hard work that certainly was beyond our expectations. We were doing things at that moment that were beyond us, that were beyond what we could do, but we grew into it and we became more capable. My father eventually told my mother why, and I overheard this and it made sense to me. He said, Celeste, we're not just building a house. We're building humans for beyond today. When Petter Mork founded Arbonne 42 years ago, and remarkably, 